Who are the poor? We hear so much about the fact that St. Eugene worked with the poor, that the missionary oblates work with the poorest of the poor. But who are the poor? We hear so much being part of the Oblate family that the Oblates work with the, the poorest of the poor, that we evangelize the poor. And often you can simplify to say, oh yes, I've heard that they work in developing countries, in third world countries, and probably they're in my parish to talk about it, or because they need to send money from here. That's not how St. Eugene saw it. See, evangelizing the poorest of the poor doesn't only mean in the materialistic sense, for sure. And that's why the Albies try in every place they are to make sure they recognize who also needs financial, material goods, material assistance. But St. Eugene, even in starting the congregation, first of all thought of those who are poor in spirit, those who are poor in their humanity, those who often throw away their human dignity and become poor, enslaved to sin, enslaved to different types of addictions. That's why when we look upon the world and we want to see it through the eyes of God, but in that specific lens of the missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate, being oblate youth, we must look at our parish, at our community, and ask ourselves who are truly needy, who don't recognize their own dignity, who maybe don't have the possibility to study, to learn, to have different realities that will help them grow. And you have to challenge yourself to help that poverty disappear. Those who are marginalized, not only living in slums, but marginalized by society because they're different, because they're bullied, because nobody likes them. Those are the people we have to go out to, not because we're better than them, but because we have to be the first to recognize that they are just like us and they need that loving heart of God. That it's, that's what it means to evangelize the poor. And notice that that is exactly what Christ did, giving his good news to those who did not know the Father. We are called by St. Eugene to do the same.